Men of Reddit. What do women do that they think is okay but is actually creepy? Being hypocritical about sex SM. Hear about guy hitting girl, what in a hole, hear about girl hitting guy, well. What did he do, older man hitting on much younger woman, what a creep, older woman hitting on much younger man, you get it girl, making small p jokes, funny, making fat jokes about men, funny, making short jokes about men, funny, making any jokes about a woman's appearance, super not okay. Always asking if I got flirted with. No matter where I go. Did anyone flint with you? What the hell? It's flag football. Who would flirt with me at flag football? Tickling and getting pissed when I don't like it. Girl I don't like getting tickled. I really hate it. I don't care that it's some way to show affection I don't want it and for f sake it's not my problem and I don't have to man up and take it. What the hell no means no. Wife bragged to friends about our sx life. We live in a small town and now it feels like everywhere I go. I'm being giggled and smiled at. It's really violating. Time to tell your wife it's not okay. I'd be mortified. You don't want to know how common this is. IDK if it's just me. But the baby voice plus behavior. Really puts me off. One annoying girl that unfortunately hanged out with my friend group kept doing this to my friend, I think she liked him. I proceeded to baby voice at my friend immediately after she did it. It killed it pretty quickly. Lol what AF king brilliant play. You know what you don't like men doing? You don't get to do that either. Just apply that to literally everything in life and you'll come out ahead. Isn't that the golden rule? Tell me that my almost two-year-old son is so handsome and going to break hearts, be a lady killer. If I rolled up to a park and told a mom how good looking her daughter was and that all the boys are going to want her they'd call the cops. As a mother of 10-month-old boy. Completely agree. And this is a response that actually is relevant to especially women being creepy. Not exclusively a woman thing. But my ex would screenshot our text conversations and send them to her family and friends for reaction. Like mundane conversations. Not even anything interesting. It felt like a very creepy violation of my privacy. Also. She was an idiot. Hope you see this Laura. Haha. <laughs> this sounds like one of my exes who was also named Laura. Hmm. You have to install this GPS tracking app on your phone so I know where you are anytime I want to check. Single quote. That's a serious trust issue. Yes. It is annoying. I'm so glad my wife doesn't need to check up on me. Her friend. On the other hand has a boyfriend that is required to have the app installed in order to be in a relationship with her. The kicker? She feels she doesn't need the app installed because she won't cheat. I feel so bad for that guy. This s just isn't fair. I have a friend that whenever she starts dating a guy. Just lists me off thing about the dude like she's listing a resume. Never anything about the personality or sense of humor or what characteristics about them she enjoys. It's job. Career. College. Earnings. House. I had to tell her it was getting creepy because it just sounds like she's getting a checklist to impress people. Not find a good person for her. I was dropping my kid off at my ex's place and her new boyfriend was there. She introduced him by saying, this is Dan he works at wherever it was and makes $116. Oh 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 a year. The poor guy looked deeply uncomfortable. Late to the party but I haven't seen this mentioned yet, distributing end day they get from guys to their friends without permission. I've caught several women doing it and they'll argue about it if asked to stop. Yet another example of it only being an issue if the genders are reversed. That's illegal. You could press charges for that. Girl or boy. Maybe not creepy. But FFS stop pulling on my beard and arm hair. Like. That s is seriously uncomfortable. And pulling out a beard hair stings like fuck. It's literally attached to my face. You are in my personal space. Tugging my hair. And causing me a little pain. Ladies. I don't care how fun it is. Please stop or I'll make fun of your eyebrows. Greater than please stop or I'll make fun of your eyebrows. Phew this man is not playing around. Double standards on say UAL harassment. I've pretty much only had female bosses at work in several jobs and the amount of times I've received unwanted words. Touches. Hugs. Grabs. Feels. And kisses would shock most people. I had a female boss at one job that would try to hug me when she left for the day and I'd always back up and give her my hand to shake. 
It's just more professional. She never got the hint more than her mocking me for not wanting to hold my boss close to my chest. Sounds creepy when I phrase it like that. Right? Well that's why I'm gonna keep my personal space. Thanks. Oi. That's super f ked up. The way girls share really personal things about guys in relation to SX. Society and the media would have you believe that guys talk about SX all the time and just objectify the women that they've slept with. I don't know if maybe I'm just hanging out with the wrong people. But honestly the most you usually get out of a guy is just that they had SX with a girl. And the only time we discuss details are when you're just like trading stories. But girls tend to like immediately report on things to their friends. And share details that honestly could be embarrassing or uncomfortable for the guy. It makes me really uncomfortable and creeped out to think that if I sleep with the girls I have to just accept that all of her friends are going to know every detail about the experience. Size. Performance. How long it lasted. How I look. It just feels like a huge breach of privacy. Not creepy but. When a woman sees a single dad with his kid and feels it's okay to tell them they're doing great I get they may feel like they're being supportive or whatever but the stigma behind guys not knowing how to raise a child is infuriating. I have 50-50 custody of my child and she's raised brilliantly by both me and her mom. I can guarantee mom never gets random praises just for walking through a shop with our child though. It's not supportive. It's condescending as hell and please stop. Stuck with babysitting duty. Huh? Chortle chortle. I've had this happen a few times. But I don't know if it is more common or less common. When I go to a bar for a drink on say a Friday night I usually go with friends. I'll head to the bathroom and sometimes the bar will be crowded so I'll have to slip through a group of people. Several times I'll get rubbed or caressed by women. Sometimes on the groin. Sometimes on the chest or shoulders. It's not wanted nor am I signaling I want to be touched. Just saying excuse me and going past. It bothers me every time. Once had a girl at a club straight up put her hand down my pants and ask me when I'm going to F her. I couldn't really process what had happened at the time and just said, I'm not, I have a girlfriend, or something. It wasn't till I started thinking how pissed I would be if someone did that to my GF that I realized how f ed up it was. Okay so this is something both me and my brother had happened to us. We are both pretty young, around 20. But we were at some parties where people of all ages were around recently. At one party. We had just finished performing with our orchestra and we were still in our uniforms. Then when I was getting some beers. Some random lady of over 40 said to me, would you like to change clothes? I want to look like I am in the orchestra. So naturally. I'm like, well, I'd rather not, but she was like, oh please. And she kept on trying to talk to me. On another party. Some lady. Also of over 40. Who was really seeking attention. Started to hold my brother by the waist. My brother told me he was really weirded out by her. She tried to do this multiple times. Even after I lured my brother away by pretending I needed to say something to him. I don't really know if this is something a lot of middle-aged ladies do. But them acting like that really weirded me out. And they seemed to do this as if it was the most normal thing in the world. Asking password to social accounts or phone. I had one like that. She would throw a giant s fit for hours about wanting to see me email accounts for no reason. After hours of her bad behavior I'd show her and let her look all she wanted just to find nothing. This happened multiple times and never got an apology. We broke up and of course she tells me that she was cheating. GL with that abusive woman dude. Greater than we broke up and of course she tells me that she was cheating. GL with that abusive woman dude. Projection at its finest. You're lucky to be rid of her. Ask their friends to give them explicit details of their say UAL encounters. Especially if it's with a BF. My girlfriend will get explicit information from her friend about her boyfriend. Then pass it on to me. I like the guy and I feel as if I'm invading his privacy. I really don't need to know how he fucks or how big his D is. It's creepy and I hope she doesn't do the same to me. The fact that you know about this guy's anatomy is f king creepy. Went out with a group of guys last weekend. There were six of us and this random girl started hanging around us like a lost puppy and just wouldn't leave. She was attractive, but so obviously desperate for attention that none of our group of guys really cared to give her any. This girl was just looking at everyone. 
batting her eyes and trying to hug everyone but the guys were just pawning her off on each other. Not sure if this is pathetic more than creepy. But if a guy did the same thing, he'd be labeled with creepy. So yeah, she was creepy to me. I honestly thought she was a hooker or something trying to sell services or some shish tea. The way she was approaching dudes. It's not f king normal. Going to pride events, gay bars and groping the men whether they like it or not like f off. Creep. Or just groping gay friends in general. Yes. Molly. I totally wanted you to grab Maya as a way to say hi while I was at the printer in the campus library. When women say things like if I were 10 years younger. About underage boys. It's creepy. Gives off pedo vibes. And if the genders were reversed you'd call the FBI. My dad married a woman when I was in middle school. She used to say this to me all the time. If I were younger I would have picked you. Not your dad. It always weirded me out. But she was weird and creepy on whole other levels. Pulling up the hem of your kilt to see if you're a true Scotsman. I was wearing a kilt in an indie movie and three different actresses tried to peek under it to see if I was authentic. I told them, no. I'm doing fight scenes. If you want to see my D just ask. And then they got mad at me. Whoa there buddy. I was socializing you against your wishes. Consenting makes you the creep. Literally what that sounds like to me. Honestly? The number of times this has been accurate in my life is really depressing. Being way too open about their SX life. I have never in my life heard a guy describe exactly how his GSV looks like or how she sounds when orgasming. I think I've had two female friends, one former, who did similar things like this. The one I'm still friends with. I remember at one point we discuss our SX life. Pretty sure she started it and eventually she got a bit too descriptive. The other one. We had only been friends for maybe a month at the time. During a late night Skype call she said something along the lines of, hey could you just keep talking and ignore me. She proceeded to emsturbate as I rambled out some bullshit in confusion. Congratulations. You found a very specific kink. Unwanted physical contact. Was out to dinner with a bunch of friends, coincidentally. They were all women. And the waitress was hitting on me. Which involved obvious compliments, which I don't care about, and putting her hands all over my shoulders and upper chest. We all had a laugh about it after. But I was seriously weirded out by it. And were the genders reversed I guarantee no one would have been laughing about it. If the genders were reversed. ITD be a lawsuit. Making a new social media account after I block you. That's not a girl thing. That's a psychopath thing. Dude I blocked made over 20 accounts to contact me. Ended up uninstalling snap. As a gay guy. Women seem to think that it's okay to touch me, in a general way, and sometimes even in a more inappropriate way. Lady. I don't know who you are. I don't care who you are. Sure we had a nice brief conversation but don't touch me. Don't wrap your hands around my legs so you can gawk at the size of my legs. Don't squeeze my peck. Or think that I want a hug despite never having met you before. I am avoiding physical contact not only to be respectful of your boundaries. But because I also have boundaries I don't want you to violate. Consent works both ways. Always. Don't. Touch. Me. X demanded I take down of a single picture of a platonic female friend who I have known over a decade and who is happily married to a mutual friend of ours. Said picture was part of a cluster of eight total. The other seven pictures were just group pictures of said platonic friend and mostly other male friends. Social media stalking is a little crazy especially from stuff before I met you. Touch Maya without consent. Sometimes I just be performing my respiratory responsibilities and I feel a slight touch to my butt and now I'm uncomfortable and confused because I'm too scared to turn around and find out who dared touch my precious bum. I'd wager that most women wouldn't do this and wouldn't think this is okay. But my now ex-girlfriend went through my phone without asking for permission. How has nobody mentioned this? It's definitely not most women. But it does happen sometimes, get pissed off if you are not in the mood for sx. Like wtf you're a man. You always want to have sx. Do you not like me anymore? No. Andrea. I was just not hrny that day and yes I liked you a lot. I've had this happen with an ex. Was all good if she wasn't in the mood but how dare I not be in the mood. Perving on men. So many times in the workplace I have heard women say what they would like to do to a certain man. 
almost drooling in public. If a man said the same comments they would be fired. When she wants to know my Reddit username. Completely unhealthy. Straight girls who go to gay bars to be all like Yas Queen UWU and straight girls who go to lesbian bars and get offended when a girl hits on them. Setting up traps. To test us. Being upset with something we did, said in your dreams. Lying to our faces when we ask direct questions like, what is wrong? How are you? Etc. Talk like a child. A few of my relationships have ended because my GFS wouldn't talk to me about an issue in our relationship. Which is weird cause supposedly that's a male trait. I just don't like confrontation. Well the alternative is that I'm breaking up with you now because you've avoided talking to me about the issue for a few months when I keep trying to bring it up. So. Edit, to everyone asked how is this creepy. It's not. I wrote this on 4 hours of sleep. I thought this was just a, what do girls do in relationship that's annoying. Type thread funny how I got gilded though. Never been gilded for being so off topic before. It's not confrontation. It's a discussion. Uh. I feel your pain. Man. 